When it comes to science, it seems that its limits and capabilities are almost endless. Everyday discoveries are made, mysteries are solved, and technological advancements are developed, providing us with unbelievable examples of what science can do, whether it be from deep within the crust of our planet or all the way in the depths of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three new discoveries and how science was able to use them to change the face of the world forever. Huge earthquake in Bolivia revealed mountain ranges below Earth's surface. The image of massive mountain ranges stretching endlessly towards the horizon in some of the most beautiful locales on the planet is one that is familiar to most people. What might be slightly more shocking is the idea of mountain ranges below the surface of the Earth. As surprising as it might sound, such was the case with a discovery made in Bolivia recently, with uncovered subterranean mountain ranges large enough to rival even those on the surface of the Earth. This discovery was made by a team of geophysicists from Princeton University and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, who analyzed the effects and measurements taken from a large earthquake that occurred in Bolivia. This earthquake, which took place on the 9th of June 1994, was noteworthy because of its sheer size. Its tremors measured a magnitude of 8.2 on the Richter scale, with its effects radiating up through the United States and even into faraway Canada, even penetrating deep into the surface of the Earth, reaching almost 650 kilometers down at its focal point. Nothing this strong has been felt since that fateful day making this earthquake an easy target for research and study. Because this earthquake was recent enough to have been measured on a modern seismic network, we were able to have an unprecedented recording of how the massive waves bounced through the interior of our planet, and this unique information is what drew the team of researchers. Observing the details regarding exactly how these waves bounced around within the Earth's crust can tell researchers a lot about the densities and rigidities to be found within painting a picture not unlike that of an ultrasound on the human body. Of special interest is the fact that this quake penetrated across the boundary between the rigid lower mantle and the more flexible upper mantle, which researchers have never been able to come anywhere close to before. Amazingly, the research team found that this boundary line resembles a craggy, jagged line and is essentially an enormous underground mountain range with topography larger than any of the mountain ranges found on the surface. The researchers hope to take this information and apply it to current hypotheses surrounding the mineral flow within the pressurized insides of the planet. This discovery could potentially solve the mystery of whether these minerals mix in a more homogeneous blend or present with stark division at the boundary. Even though this mountain range is hundreds of kilometers below our feet, it can still tell us about activities on the surface, especially ancient movements of the crust. Geoscientist Jessica Irving shared the potential of this discovery, saying that what's exciting about these results is that they give us new information to understand the fate of ancient tectonic plates which have descended into the mantle and where ancient mantled material might still reside. Although we will likely never be able to visit such a remote locale beneath the Earth's crust, we can still form valuable pictures of what lies below using tools such as seismic waves that give us a sneak peek into the depths of our planet. Mysterious finger-like features spotted on the Sun not all of the most mysterious parts of space are due to recent discoveries. Some were brought to our attention long ago, but still manage to mystify astronomers and researchers alike. For one of these mysteries at least, it appears that we may finally have some answers. Scientists have long observed solar flares erupting from our sun in great rays of bright energy flaring outward, but in 1999, Strange, darkly colored downflows of energy were also noticed within the flares. These were described as downward-moving dark voids and resembled finger-like projections interspersed within the solar flares. These formations were referred to as supra-arcade downflows and, although it was suspected that their cause might be tied to magnetic reconnection in some way, their origins have remained largely a mystery until now. 
The research team studying these events carefully analyzed the images of solar flares with the downflows present, taken by NASA's Atmospheric Imaging Assembly on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, which records seven different types of images of the Sun's atmosphere every 12 seconds. They then reconstructed three-dimensional simulations of solar flares to compare with the downflow images and came to a surprising realization. What they discovered was that it seems as though most supra-arcade downflows are not a product of magnetic reconnection at all. This process describes the phenomenon of the Sun's magnetic fields being stretched and then snapping back through the flares. But the researchers found that these downflows were much too slow to make this a likely possibility. Astronomer and lead author of the study, Shen Kai Shen, knew that things did not add up when it came to the slow speed of the downflows, saying that this is not predicted by classic reconnection models, which show the downflows should be much quicker. It's a conflict that requires some other explanation. After much study, another explanation was proposed. Rather than magnetic reconnection, it is much more likely that supra-arcade downflows are actually forming as the independent product of the interaction of two fluids with contrasting densities. When this occurs within the plasma scorching off of the sun in a solar flare, an unstable mix is created, resulting in gaps where there is actually an absence of plasma bordering regions of much higher plasma densities. These empty spaces are the supra-arcade downflows that have so puzzled researchers for decades. Even though the answer seems rather simple, it was not so easy to arrive at this conclusion, which was only made possible through the use of three-dimensional simulations of solar flares. These technologies will continue to be used to attempt to peel away the layers of mystery that surround solar flares and its resultant space weather, and potentially reach such an understanding that we could one day be able to forecast solar flares to avoid the worst of its impacts. Essentially, resolving the mystery of supra-arcade downflows was one small drop in the larger pool of solar flare knowledge, but its effects will be felt far and wide in the field as studies are continued. NASA plans to destroy the International Space Station in January 2031. All good things must come to an end, and it seems that NASA's famous International Space Station is not exempt from that list. It was always known that the ISS, which was launched into orbit in 2000, would not live forever, and that it must one day be retired. But NASA recently released a statement detailing how they plan to deal with the massive orbiting structure, which is over 100 meters from end to end. As it turns out, its fate is not so surprising, as it will be deorbiting into Point Nemo, a remote location in the Southern Pacific Ocean, also known as the Spacecraft Cemetery because of the number of spacecraft and satellites that have plunged into the waters there. This location is so popular for good reason. At over 2,600 kilometers away from land, it is one of the most remote locations in the ocean and has served as a graveyard for over 250 fallen pieces of space debris. Its remoteness makes it an ideal target for things intentionally being taken out of orbit as there is a much larger room for error and an incredibly low probability of coming into contact with humans on its descent. It will certainly be the end of an era for the ISS once it finally completes its 31-year tenure as a premier space lab and observatory. Continuously occupied by astronauts for over two decades, it has been a key glimpse into the expanse of space that stretches beyond our atmosphere and its value to the scientific fields cannot be understated. There is no doubt that decades orbiting the Earth takes its toll, and the International Space Station is clearly showing its age. The astronauts on board are always alert for leaks, cracks, and other signs of structural failings, especially as they depend upon the station for everything from air to gravity. Additionally, the ISS is increasingly vulnerable to space junk, especially as a piece of debris as small as a chip of paint can make huge impacts like cracking windows or destroying the robotic arm. But, always looking to the future, NASA has announced that it will award commercial contracts for the construction of the International Space Station's eventual replacement, which will greatly expand the possibilities and usefulness of its famous predecessor. Billionaire-owned companies such as Blue Origin, SpaceX, and Voyager Space have all been speculated to be vying for the elite contract. 
There is no doubt that the groundbreaking impacts of the ISS have had huge benefits for our understanding of space travel, microgravity, and space exploration. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.